We're excited to announce the addition of a new feature for all MindFire Workflow Designer, formerly Studio users. Workflow Designer users now have access to the asset library from within the MindFire product portal. If you are unfamiliar with the MindFire product portal, please view the demonstration video from the link in the description below. The asset library enables you to create, manage, and store digital assets such as images, videos, documents, emails, landing pages, and more directly in your account in the program. No longer do you need to store your campaign assets in a separate public folder like Amazon S3. To learn more about the asset library and the associated editors, please view the tutorial video from the link in the description below. The purpose of this article is to acquaint users with how to use the asset picker to choose assets from the asset library within campaign elements in Workflow Designer. Before beginning to work on elements within a campaign, be sure you have created and uploaded your asset into the asset library. Begin by logging into the MindFire portal at client.mdl.io using your MindFire credentials. Select the account that you wish to build your campaign in or work with an existing campaign from the drop down menu. Once you've logged in, click on the Assets tab. You'll be taken to the Asset Library. Here you can verify that the assets that you wish to work with within your new campaign or existing campaign are ready to go within the library. Once those assets are ready to go, you may start a new campaign or open an existing one. In this case, let's start a new campaign. Once the Workflow Designer canvas is loaded, select an element such as an email and drag it onto the canvas. Once the email element is on the canvas, you can work with the Properties menu. Click on the Configuration sub-tab to present the Content dialog box. You have two options for working with emails and landing pages from the Workflow Designer Canvas using the Asset Picker feature of the Asset Library. The first one is to click on the URL-based content box. And this will present you with a box for your HTML content address. Click inside the box and then right-click to bring up the Digital Assets dialog selector. This will present you with email templates that are in your asset library. Select the one you wish to work with. And notice that in the preview, if this is the correct one, simply click on it and it will be pasted into the dialog box. Now you can click on preview to preview the email. Great, this is ready to go. The other way to put the email into your campaign is to simply paste it into the HTML content box by simply clicking into the HTML content area and right click then select digital assets. Now your dialog box will present you the option to select images or emails. In this case we're going to select our email. Once again, verify that this is the correct email you wish to use in the preview dialog box. It will be pasted into the HTML content area. Now you may preview the email and it's ready to go. Another option for working with the asset picker is to change images that are in existing assets like emails and landing pages. 
Let's say that you'd like to replace an image that's within an existing email or landing page element in your campaign. In this case, we've used this image and let's replace it with another image. To do that, go back to your properties tag, configuration for an email, and then locate the image within the HTML code. As you can see, the image is here. Simply click on the image URL and highlight it, delete it, and while your cursor is still between the image tag quotation marks, right click, select digital assets, select image, image folder, and pick the image that you wish to replace the existing one with. In this case, let's use this landscape shot. Click to select it from the preview and it'll be pasted into your email page. Great, we're ready to go. Working with landing pages is very similar to working with emails when using the asset picker. The only difference is the microsite has its own workflow. So you can create a microsite by dragging it onto the canvas and then clicking on the globe ID link here where you can build the workflow for the microsite. Let's create a landing page by dragging it onto the canvas. Click on the properties tag and then sub HTML menu. Again, exactly the same as in the past. You may either select URL based content to simply paste the URL address in or you may select the page HTML content box, right click, select digital assets, select page, asset manager demo page, preview, great, ready to go, paste it in, and you are all set. Great, and as you could with an email, you also have the option of replacing images from within landing pages using the same workflows in the past, select your HTML, search for the image tag with the URL to the image, replace it with your new image and it's ready to go. Once finished, don't forget to save your work and publish your new campaign. That's it for this portion of our demonstration. Thanks again. Be on the lookout for new features and updates coming soon. Thank you.